Every year we give the Pritzloff Conservation Award to someone deserving in the field, someone who's done great conservation work. This year, because the award will be given at the Island Symposium, we chose someone with an island theme background, and the first person to come to mind was Dan Simberloff. Dan Simberloff has been a leader in island conservation since his PhD thesis was looking at island biogeography. It's really incredible to think about the invasion biology of things. And then also, as we focus on climate change, we're gonna to need to be thinking about how species are gonna be moving around. Dan has been a leader in understanding how species move across the world. I first learned about Dan Simberloff's work when I was an undergraduate at a small liberal arts school outside of Chicago. He had a big impact on me early on when I was sort of just figuring out what plant ecology was and who was doing it and what they were doing. And then as I grew as a scientist, I realized how prolific he was and how much his expertise has contributed to a field that I've spent a fraction of the time in but care a lot about. He spent an uh, unusual amount of time for a scientist communicating with the public and making sure that the results of his, of his scientific studies were well understood and were applied for the public benefit. And that's particularly so in the case of considering invasive species. What I value about Dan's work is not only that he has like this, you know, this comprehensive body of, of publications that's influenced my career and, and how I manage the islands, he, he trumpets that this is still uh, a global uh, challenge. So the, the reason why we're tackling 32 species on Santa Cruz Island has a lot to do with Dan advocating for addressing invasive species issue early in the invasion instead of later. What he's brought to the field is just a comprehensive vision. He thinks about ways we can frame the conversation of particular species that play important roles, like keystone species, just to give us a, a way to view the system that will help us think about restoring it. He's changed the way that we look at the world and really revolutionized the study of ecological systems. And Dr. Semberloff is one of my heroes, um, someone who, again, you know, has done a lot of important work and uh, just has this, this optimism and this big vision for restoration and ecology in general.